Hello and welcome. My name is Matt Talbot. I am the host of this Living in Detroit channel. On this channel, we talk about a lot of different things. Detroit, Southeast Michigan, Michigan as a whole, and a lot of stuff regarding real estate, moving to Michigan, and living in Michigan. So in this video, we have an interesting one today. We talk a lot about new construction on our channel. We sell a lot of new construction homes. We work with sellers and buyers for new construction all the time. So we want to give you some of the biggest builders in Michigan, a little bit about them, some of the communities they have to offer, and a rundown of some of the different home builders and the amount of homes that they're building throughout Southeast Michigan. First and foremost, my team put this together. It's kind of an interesting way to read it. A home builder, obviously someone that builds homes, but what is a home builder? A home builder is a professional or company that constructs residential properties, overseeing everything from planning to construction. They work with architects, subcontractors, and clients to ensure projects meet requirements, budget, timeline, offerings, customizable options for home builders. Okay, sorry, for home owners. Uh, so a home builder, right? What they, do, what they do is they build homes. These are new construction homes. And in Michigan, there's a lot of new construction happening. It's not, you know, as thought of compared to other places in the country, I'm sure. You think about Texas and kind of the amount of new construction there. I mean, it's unlimited, but there's a lot of homes being built in Michigan. Across the country, there's just not enough homes being built overall. We need more new construction, which is one of the reasons why the inventory is so low. They need to build homes faster. So in this video, we wanna talk about new construction. We work very, very heavily with new construction and home builders throughout the area for our clients. And we wanna take you through some of the bigger builders, some of the more production builders in the area, and a little bit about them so you can can learn more as you're thinking about building a home here in Michigan. The first home builder we're going to talk about in today's video is Pulte Homes. So Pulte is a national builder. They build quite a few homes. They started building homes in 1950s and in the 1950s and have built over 750,000 homes in total. Third largest builder in the nation. So they're huge, number three in the nation. Um, in Michigan, according to our statistic, statistics, they had 652 permits as of 2021. Uh, permit value was 174 million in 2021 as well too. So Pulte is a huge builder in the State. It's a huge builder across the country. A lot of people have probably heard of Pulte Homes and they build quite a bit. We work with a lot of clients. We've had a ton of clients move into Pulte Homes. I can't imagine probably 50 homes through the years or more that we've sold to uh, through Pulte, okay? So if you pull up in the map, I'm on Pulte's website. I mean, there's still a good amount of different options happening here in Michigan when it comes to Pulte houses and a lot of different varieties depending on location areas. New construction is around the topic, whether it's Pulte or any other, other builder. You have to be a little bit careful because when you see starting at when you see sort of base prices, um, there's not a lot rolled into that base price. So there's things called lot premiums, as an example, depending on what you, lot you want in the subdivision, you pay a premium. So if you want a walkout basement or if you want a daylight basement, you know, you want a wooded lot, you want a bigger lot, th those are usually more expensive. So right away you have a lot premium and then you always put more bells and whistles into a house. You never really buy the starting at price. It's very, very rare uh, for the most part. So typically you're going to add a couple percentages or more on top of that sale price by the time you're done picking selections. It's just inevitable, right? You're gonna have options like this floor or this floor. And the one that you want, of course, is gonna be more expensive. And that's how it typically goes with a lot of builders. So um, diving into that, this video, we wanna just kind of discuss the different builders, some of the different areas to consider and price points. But if you wanna deep dive into new construction, how that works, let us know, comment below, or fill out our county link on YouTube. We can have a deep dive on new construction. We have an entire process built out for new construction that we literally monitor every step of the way with these builders. So our agents are on site, they're taking pictures, they're monitoring things, they're making sure that things are not only happening in a timely manner, but they're being built properly. We have a very proprietary process built out for that as well too. So if you'd like to learn more about new construction, let us know. Up next, one of the second biggest builders, if not the biggest builder in the state, I think they kind of go back and forth, but that's Lombardo Homes. Up next is Lombardo Homes. Lombardo is one of my favorite options for a lot of different reasons here in Michigan. We sell a lot of their homes as well too. It's a very great product for a lot of different reasons. So um, to give you some specifics, Lombardo is actually Michigan-based, family-owned. They've been building homes in Michigan for over 60 years. They had 540 permits in 2011, I'm sure much more since then, and permit value of 140 million in 2021. So they're building millions of houses. I know the statistics are a little bit older. Um, they're continuing to grow and expand in a lot of different areas is here in Michigan. They're one of the biggest builders. I think Lombardo and Pulte are kind of neck and neck. Lombardo actually might build more homes um, in Michigan than Pulte at this point. We sell a lot of their products. They're a fantastic builder for a lot of different reasons, and they have a variety of different options as well too. Similar to a Pulte, if you kind of pull up in their map on their website, they have different options in that spoke 
throughout the Southeast Michigan area, um, throughout Detroit, okay? They build only in Southeast Michigan, as far as I can tell, or as far as I know, I should say. Um, and again, same type of situation. You have a couple options north of the city. Um, one is in Bruce Township, the Timbers. Those start at 425, anywhere from 2200 to 2800 square feet floor plans. Um, those are, like I said, in the 425 range. There's about 20 lots or so in that area. Another area is Stillwater Crossing, which is in Macomb. Those start in the 400,000s, beautiful homes. And they have quite a few home sites up there as well too. They're mostly sold out. That site looks like uh, it entailed about 200 homes, give or take. And there's a handful of lots still available as of 2024 in that area. So that's north of the city of Detroit. If you head west, they have some options over in Fenton and Howell, if I remember correctly. Yep, Fenton is Cedar Creek. Um, those homes start at 409, uh, range from 1,500 to 3,200 square feet and a lot of different options as well too. So heading just west of Detroit, not just west of Detroit, but about 40 minutes west of Detroit, you have the Northville South Line area. Again, lots of new construction, Northville, Novi, South Line, Salem Township, that part of town. So a couple different options. One is the hike at Elk Row Farms, which is a South Line address, South Line schools. Those are 2,500 to 3,200 square feet, starting in the mid five, so 541. We build a lot of houses over there, priced out a lot of houses over there, I should say. And those are probably in like the six, six fifty range for the most part, depending on what you go go with. You can go up from there. There's a there, there's one section of that subdivision that's not released, but a lot of that sub has been built up in South Lion. Another area we've worked in pretty heavily in South Lion is pretty darn close to being full, I'm sure, is the estates of Huttsfield. Um, that's also in South Lion, starting in the mid uh, 400s, 458 to be exact. And those range from uh, 1,900 to 2,800 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two to two and a half baths, some nice different options there. Another air target area, very sought out area is gonna be in Northville, Michigan. Uh, Lombardo has a beautiful site over there as well too. Wind Ridge Estates starting at 750. It's gonna be bigger homes, right? 2,800 to 40, 500 square feet, bigger colonials, that type of setup um, in Northville, some nice high-end real estate there, beautiful properties, and those are gonna go even you know, north of a million dollars many times in that particular type of subdivision. Um, Lombardo itself, uh, before I get into the Ann Arbor area, um, there are some other parts of town which Lombardo is building. But before I get into that, one of the things that I love about Lombardo Homes is they have a variety of different products. So not only do you have all these different subdivisions through Lombardo throughout, throughout Southeast Michigan, they have two very interesting sister companies that we work heavily with as well too. One is what's called Lombardo Anywhere. So they take their production builder, uh, building homes, so the homes that you see in subdivisions and more production types type builds, and they actually do at Lombardo Anywhere. As long as you find a lot or a tear down home somewhere, they're able to actually give you those floor plans and they'll build that house on the lot of your choice. So a little bit different when it comes to financing, it's very easy to pull off for people that qualify at this price, these price points, um, but it's very easy to do. You find a lot, you purchase a lot, you do it on a, uh, on a on a construction loan is what we call it, which I can take you through that. Um, and then we'll build Lombardo anywhere for that property. So that's a very unique product that a lot of the other bigger production builders don't have. Also, one of my favorite options in Southeast Michigan is Cranbrook's luxury division. So I'm gonna do a separate video on just luxury custom home builders as well too. We're not gonna go down that path for this video, but I do love Cranbrook's um, uh, secondary division or sister company that's Cranbrook Custom Homes. Uh, the thing that's so beautiful about those guys is they, they build a beautiful house, very systematic process, fantastic team over there. Shout out to Eric if you ever see this video. Uh, fantastic team over there, um, but what, I like about that particular um, option for that custom construction is you get a very nice high-end custom home, um, but they're they're using the leverage of Lombardo and the production builders to kind of cut costs, keep it more streamlined. Um, so when they buy lumber, when they buy parts, they buy all this stuff in bulk, right? So a lot of times they can keep that custom build cost down a little bit comparatively to some of their other competition. There's some beautiful home builders out there, lots of custom options as well too. I wanna make a separate video on that because it's a little bit more unique product. Okay. Up next, a very important builder in the area without a doubt when it comes to the biggest production builders in Michigan, and that's Toll Brothers. They are big across the country, not just here in Michigan. Uh, started building in 1967, um, started building in Michigan in 1999, currently has over 10 floor plans and different portfolios, um, built in 24 different states. They had 217 permits in 2021, and they're, they're gonna have even more today. Our data is a little bit dated there. Um, permit value was 72 million in 2021, uh, according to our article and our study here. But Toll Brothers is a great option, um, a pretty high-end home 
when it comes to production building for sure. Um, and there's a handful of areas. Um, they're not building as many homes um, as uh, Lombardo or Pulte. So depending on your areas and stuff like that, there's only so many options, but they do have beautiful options. We're um, in uh, construction with a couple clients through Toll Brothers right now, um, at least one that comes to mind. Concord Parks of Ann Arbor is one to start with, 2,900 to 4,500 square feet, bigger colonials. Those are the $1 million up range that actually start at 1075 and up in Ann Arbor. So nice high-end Toll Brother homes in that area. Um, Edgewood by Toll Brothers, um, that's going to be in West Bloomfield. Those start in the $500,000 price point, um, and those are going to be a, a condo unit, so the attached townhouse condo units. Then you also have North Oaks of Ann Arbor for Toll Brothers, and those are two different options. One is going to be the townhouse collection, two is the villa collection. This townhouse is start at 575. The villas are real high end in Ann Arbor as well too. These are the current new construction options. But what's interesting, if you know about Toll Brothers or if you know about Pulte, um, a lot of the subdivisions that we sell for resale were obviously Toll Brothers, Pulte, uh, Lombardo type homes in the area as well too. So um, what's cool about Toll Brothers, I think they've done a pretty good job having a variety of different options, but not going too crazy and having really nice options that people like to build. So um, there's a recurring theme through Toll Brothers, not through just through Michigan, but across the country. And people really enjoy some of the floor plans. Um, one of the floor plans I have, I can't think of the name, maybe the Duke um, is off the top of my head. Um, cool floor plan has a, just a huge primary suite. So big home. Um, a lot of people like that huge primary suite. It's basically it's its own like wing of the house, big apartment, walk-in closets, all that stuff, your own sitting area. I mean, it's a, that's a cool layout for sure. The Duke model is, I'm pretty sure, through Lombardo. But I like the different floor plans. A lot of Lombardo homes, for the most part, condos, you know, in the high five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars range and most of the Lombardo homes building at a production level are really in today's market at least the current subdivisions they have going are in that million dollar plus price range if that's the price point you're looking for Toll Brothers could be a great option for you in that million dollar plus, uh, plus range but you have a variety of different options when it comes to that million dollar plus range when it comes to custom builders as well too so some different flavors definitely would never talk anyone out of building a Toll Brothers home if that fits their bread budget criteria location all that good stuff I think that they're a great builder locally in that million dollar plus plus range. Last but not least, one of the uh, names that I didn't want to leave out is MI Homes. Started building in 1967, has sold over 113,000 homes worldwide. One of the biggest builders in the state. That's another big production builder in the area. Not deep diving for them as well, too, for sake of keeping this video somewhat short. But when you talk about Toll Brothers, you talk about Pulte Homes, you talk about Lombardo Homes. There's a variety of different options when it comes to production, new construction homes. Um, we do feature some of those homes on this channel if you want to check out some of the deep dive to see the walkthrough videos and some of the surrounding communities. People are always like, show us the houses, show us the walkthroughs, whatever, which is cool. It's good clickbait, so to speak. But you can always jump on you know, our website, listingmi.com to go ahead and see homes and see the pictures of homes throughout the entire area. But we also try to show you the surrounding communities as well too. A big point in this channel is for out of town buyers or people that want to research certain areas so they can see the surrounding communities, they can see the subdivision, they can see the Chick-fil-A up the street. We don't really have any, many of those. They can see the Chipotle, they can see the, see the, the bars and restaurants, whatever it is. So they have an understanding of what the different areas are. So as they're looking, they can pick what area is best for them. So yes, we have a lot of home tours of these uh, builders. We have a lot of different home tours of different homes on this channel as well too. So go ahead and deep dive there if you wanna see more. So production builders, big builders in Michigan, there's a handful of different options. They build some beautiful homes depending on price point, what you're looking for, why you wanna build it. We can deep dive into those more production builders. And again, if you're looking for something a little bit more unique, you're looking for more of a custom builder in a specific town, depending on what you're looking for, let us know. We have some options. There's a lot of new construction homes in the Woodward Corridor. There's a lot of stuff in Birmingham that we've we've priced out for clients. Northville area, Plymouth area. Just depends on what you're looking for. There's a plethora of different options. So as buyer's representation, we always try to show you a handful of different options, talk through pros and cons. We mentioned the builders from this video a lot, quite a bit on the team, but there's a plethora of different options depending on where you're looking. So let us know if you're thinking about building a house. That's deep dive there. My name is Matt Tell, but this is the Living in Detroit channel. Thanks so much for checking out our video and stay tuned for future videos just like this.